Hey there, Big Brother fans. We've got a huge update for you about the power of veto comp this week. In fact, it was more than one comp, reportedly. We're going to tell you exactly how this power of multiplicity is going to work and what happened after the BB25 Live feeds were down for roughly seven hours and came back up with a truly startling outcome that is going to wreak some havoc in the BB25 house. We've got the full scoop for you, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Big Brother updates. So just as a quick update, if you are not current, if you haven't watched all of our recent videos, the two cent update is the BB Comics comp was an HOH comp for this week, week 11. It's usually a power of veto comp. They did it a little differently. They're shaking everything up in BB25. And this time, the winner got the power of invisibility, which is them being able to stay anonymous while making their noms and renoms. But that power is pretty much moot since Jag blabbed to everyone but Sari and his two nominees, Felicia and Blue, that he had, in fact, won the comp. And already, those three that he hadn't told suspect it's either him or Corey that won, but they're leaning much more heavily towards believing Jag, which is, of course, accurate. So the HOH's stated target this week was Blue because Jag thinks Cameron poisoned her against him and Matt on on his way out the door when he was evicted as the first juror in BB25. I actually think Cameron was poisoning the whole house against each other as well as he could on his way out the door, just creating chaos in his wake. And, you know, who can blame him? I'd burn it down too on my out, way out the door if I was evicted. So because head of household Jag and the other house guests did not know how the multiplicity power of veto twist would work, he decided just to be upfront and nominate Blue alongside a pawn. He decided on Felicia as the pawn because Bowie asked him not to use Sari as a pawn, and he initially had talked to Bowie about it. She didn't want to go up either as a pawn. So it was Felicia and Blue. And the multiplicity power of veto, of course, means there are going to be two POV medallions in play at Monday's veto meeting. And in fact, it seems there were two separate power of veto competitions played one after the other today in the Big Brother house. There was a round one POV comp and a round two. What I'm very curious about is if the winner from round one got to play round two or if they were sat out so that they couldn't control double vetoes. I'm assuming that they had to sit out, but we'll see. So the first competition was reportedly a very physical challenge, one of those where like you hang on the ropes that rotate and things bang up against you, something like that. And if you recall your past seasons correctly, that's usually a head of household comp. So it's kind of interesting because the BB comps is usually a POV comp and they flipped it over to be an HOH comp. And then they took a traditional HOH comp and repurposed it to make it a grueling multi-hour POV comp for round one of the veto competitions on Saturday. So the winner of that first round of play was the secret HOH Jag. And then the second comp played reportedly right after round one, and it was something that was kind of random by luck and blue one that one. Of course, this is all strictly hearsay from the live feeds, and we will see all the details when it plays out on the scheduled episode on CBS this week. Sunday is when we'll see the HOH comp and nominations, and then we'll see the veto comps play out later this coming week. What we do know for certain is that Jag and Blue both have POV medallions, and that means Jag's plans for his HOH are are screwed up now. There is little doubt that Blue will use her POV power to save herself. And then the big question becomes whether Jag will use his. He could absolutely turn the house on its ear if he made a huge resume building move. If he had the nerve to do it, 
the HOH could pull down Felicia and leave the chopping block wide open for renoms. And then Jag could nominate as his renoms Power Pair, Corey and America. Given that Corey and America both know that Jag is the secret HOH that would get a lot of blood on his hands and he'd have to deal with the fallout from the one left behind in the house, most likely America. And I do know that Sari and Felicia would love to have Corey out of the house and that would leave America looking for allies. And those two would probably be able to get that that ladies alliance they've chatted about over the past week or so. No doubt we will have more info for you on Sunday and Monday about Jag's plans once he talks it out with Matt and his other allies. Either way, he's got to renom at least one person, and it's going to be someone he's been eyeballing as an ally because he's pretty much allied with everybody except his two nominees. He's not going to want to put up Matt and Bowie's not going to let him put her up as a pawn if she can get out of it. So that leaves Sari, Corey, and America. Corey and America are likely going to press him to put up Sari, but Jag actually wants Sari to round out a Final Four alliance with him, Matt, and Bowie Jane. So if he leaves Felicia on the block, then the safest nom would probably be America because Corey, Matt, and Bowie could vote against Felicia and send her home. And Blue might also vote against Felicia since she's been bonding with America lately. If Corey goes up, there's a good chance he could go out. So that would be the big power play. But I do wonder if Jag has the cojones to to make that big big move and it would be a big move and I would totally be down for that so we'll give you an update later once we hear the chatter in the house on Sunday and overnight Sunday into Monday and we see where Jag's head is at for a week that has spun out of control thanks to him first blabbing his advantage to most of the house and then his target blue winning one of the two powers of veto be sure to come back soon for more updates right here. Thanks for tuning in and talking Big Brother with us. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio and more. 